Are you able to see on your screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. So as usual here you are seeing that what your points that you told me regarding to that one means so firstly equation your given equation that is y equals to x square minus 6x plus 11. So five values of x that you had plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Regarding to that you also get that values of y that is 6, 3, 2, 3, 6. Okay. So clearly you can understand that 3 comma 2 that is your turning point because you can see that after this point that your values of y that are changing okay so that means now you are able to see that i mentioned cross related to those yeah. points yeah next they are saying that you drag the points okay yes we drag that and then we can mark it this one yes fantastic your answer is right very good do you understand clearly this one yes sir great so now next topic is your properties of quadratics uh. so here that we would like to examine that uh, yeah here we have to understand uh, and identify the intercepts roots uh -huh. intercept okay or uh, interpreting roots and the turning points of a quadratic function okay okay quadratic quadratic function that means you can understand that means uh, it is a, yeah me suppose that if you are considering any quadratic equation as y mm. then that is considered as function because that fundamentally that when i will explain you function then i will also explain that if any type of equation that is given if you are considering that, we suppose that 2x square plus 3x plus 5. But if you are considering as y equals to 2x square plus 3x plus 5, then y equals to fx. So in that in that way, that will be your function. Okay. okay. Yes. So let us start. Wow. Here you can see that equation that is given and also they are explaining that uh, equation is your y equals 2x square plus 2x minus 3 yeah. and you are seeing that it's a shape that is your parabola okay okay here you can see that they are saying that click on the part of the parabola to find out more about it okay yes so here this point this point is known as your turning point okay because as I explained that to you your parabola or your graph is your top opening okay okay so that means it will be your minimum point okay okay so its coordinate will be what can you tell me uh, minus 1 comma minus 4 minus 1 comma minus 4 oh yes okay that's right next here you can see that this point at this point the graph is cutting y axis so you can understand clearly that uh. I explained that to you when I was explaining linear equation uh. graph so that when the graph will cut the y-axis that will be your intercept or not uh. so you can see that it will be your intercept yes okay uh. so intercept coordinate will be what 0 comma minus 3 0 comma minus 3 great let's mark it yeah that's also right what is your point this one yeah these are the point where the graph is cutting the x axis okay okay so these are x intercept okay x okay. intercept that means where the graph is cutting x axis beta y y y intercept that means where the graph will cut the y axis okay, okay. 
where the graph is cutting the x axis these are also considered as a roots of equation okay okay or indirectly you can understand that these are the solution of your e given equation okay okay so it's a point will be like uh, what will be point 0 comma minus 3 0 comma 0 comma minus 3 you are saying and and uh, 0 comma minus 1 0 comma minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 but uh, how you are taking this one this point is considered as oh, sorry 0,1111 0,1 okay this problem you solve that 0,1 but how you are getting that 0,3 is the -3 First one, I am taking it from the left. Beta, it is on the left hand side. Minus three, comma zero will be there. You know? Okay, okay. Yes. Minus three, comma zero. So zero. Wait, zero, and here will be minus three. Ah. Yes. Oh my God! What is this? Yes, and then when you will mark it, wait. Uh -huh. One comma zero. It will be not zero comma one. Yeah, <laughs> beta. You are moving. Yes, you are moving on. x axis but not on y axis okay <laughs> that's why these points will be like 1 1, 1, 0 okay uh. and then you will mark it yeah that's right understand Ah. Give me what information is coming here. Okay, come to the next one, next section. Here also you can see that next equation is also given: eight plus two x minus x square. And also, you can see that your graph is intersecting x and y axis over there. Ah. Uh. so also we have to mention all those points so they are asking that uh, what will be your x intercept so x intercept that means the points where the graph is intersecting x axis okay okay so can you tell me the point ah uh. One comma zero. One comma zero. Where is one comma zero? Yeah, one comma zero. Another point. No, no. They are asking about x-intercept, beta, where the graph is cutting x-axis. You can see that. Are you able to see my moving cursor? No. Here yeah, it got stuck. Oh, I think that there is a little bit problem on your side of the Skype. So, wait. Are you able to see now? Yeah. 
are able to see now yeah so you can see you here that uh, your graph is intersecting on x axis and y axis so that's why that you have to plug in you have to mention the points where the graph is cutting x axis that means x intercept you have to tell me uh, minus 2 comma 0 minus 2 wait no, no, no. one minus 2 comma 0 minus 2 comma 0 And four comma zero. And four comma zero. And y-intercept is eight comma zero comma eight. Yeah, that is zero comma eight. Yeah. Turning point will be where? Turning point is uh, one comma eight nine. Okay, turning point one comma nine, and what will be its root? Uh, roots. I told you just before that what will be roots. Can you tell me the roots of this equation, Vita? Sir, can you tell me once? Yeah. Uh, oh yes, Vita. Roots will be those points where the graph is cutting x-axis. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see that roots uh, will be your minus two, comma four, and then four it will be. Yes. And then when you'll mark it, then. Yes, fantastic. Understand? Yes, sir. Great. Now we can move to the third one over here. Let's see. Oh yes. So here, use the tools to explore the relationship between the function and its graph. Okay. Yes. Here you can see that a question is given. x square plus 0x plus 0 so that means they are saying that you can increase the coefficient firstly if you will increase your constant term like okay 0 here is given 0 if you will doing 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see that your graph is getting upward with respect to y axis okay Yeah, you are seeing that. Sir. You are seeing that graph is getting down. Yes, sir. Yeah. So in that way, that means intercept. That means your graph would like to move. Okay. Means y intercept. That means your graph will move with respect to y axis. Okay. that means you can also understand that your graph is cutting the y axis at point 0 comma minus 18 okay uh, okay now the next is your coefficient of x coefficient of x that means if you will get negative values that means your graph will move right hand side okay, okay. you can see that i am changing the values are you seeing that graph is changing uh. yeah right hand side and downwards and if it is coming pos means positive and then you can see that it will move other side okay yes and when it will be when you'll change the coefficient of x square so firstly positive values so that means it will be up or down okay? okay that means you can see that up positive values so that means your parabola that will be upward opening and negative value that means it will downward opening okay okay yes 
when it will be upward opening then you can see that graph is cutting two points okay with respect to x axis but if you'll get downwards opening then you can see that your graph is not cutting any at any point on x axis so that's mm -hmm. why that there will be no root at this time okay only you will you can get your y intercept 0 comma minus 18 there okay okay do you understand that yes sir great yes how many x intercepts that you are getting there in a parabola yes that is two, two. what is the uh, turning point uh, of maximum that is a maximum turning point it will be i think that is zero comma minus. sorry uh, minus two comma minus two comma minus i think 22 or 20 yeah 22 uh, yeah minus two comma 22 and then is there always a y intercept uh, yes because that your parabola will cut the y axis always at any point okay okay so i hope you understand all that things beta which i had explained today to you yes sir yes next class will be same as so sir, can it take to at the morning before 10 o'clock tomorrow at, at before 10 o'clock morning both of your classes yes sir uh, yes why not means um, from uh -huh. 9 o'clock that we can do class 9 or 9 30 okay? okay hello no, can you start a little bit earlier like some 8 or 8 o'clock oh yes uh -huh. we can do that from 8 o'clock yeah I will okay. schedule your class with no problem okay, okay. So your class will be from 8 to 9 and uh, Gotham class that will be from 9 to 10, okay? Yeah. Okay, Vita. so thanks for today, Vita. Just say Gotham to be online within two minutes, Vita. Yeah, I, I am going to a little bit repair of this problem, what you are seeing on your screen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah I am calling within two minutes. Thanks a lot. Have a great time and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.